It's the Weather Extreme video, the afternoon edition for Friday the 13th. I'm James Spann. Warm is the word for the weekend. Big ice storm for the nation's midsection. And our next really widespread rain probably toward the middle or end of next week. So well, let's go in there and check things out. Very interesting pattern across the country today. A large, strong upper high across the southeast United States. That's the reason we're warm and dry. I say dry. There's a few showers around today, but that's the reason certainly we're warm. And a big upper low that's just west of Los Angeles. And this broad southwest flow aloft across a shallow layer of cold air over the country's heartland producing icing conditions. That was a radar at 218, a few isolated showers over the northwestern part of the state. But you can see uh, rain is pretty light and pretty spotty there. And yes, indeed, it is a warm January day for most. Now, Haleyville's got 64 with clouds and a few showers around, but Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Gadsden, Alabaster, 76 degrees. That's about 25 above average for this time of the year. Close to the record, but not quite there. But cold air, really not that far away. Look at Nashville, 48. Little Rock, 41. Tulsa, 32 with freezing rain. But the warm air holds for the weekend. And you can see the country is bisected, that very sharp thermal gradient uh, just north and west of here. It's very cold up north. Look at all the ice storm warnings for parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois. Winter storm watches to the north. Freezing rain advisories over into parts of Indiana, Ohio, West Virginia. Convective outlook for today, maybe some thunder in that cold air over Oklahoma, northwest Arkansas, southwest Missouri. That's never a good thing. Let's go to day three. This is Sunday. There is a risk of severe weather over parts of Texas, and we'll be watching that system lifting out next week. Still more questions than answers at this point. Here's the rain for the next seven days, valid through Friday morning. Rain amounts over one inch for much of the state, and again, the bulk of this will come at some point toward the middle or end of next week. And again, the details are a bit muddy at this point. Freezing rain potential from midday tomorrow until midday Sunday. This is the chance of greater than one hundredth of an inch of freezing rain. Uh, the bullseye is Kansas and Missouri. And this is coming from the NDFD, the National Digital Forecast Database. Just some nasty icing, especially over Kansas and Missouri over the next 48 hours. All right, model fans. Here we go. The GFS, the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow, 588 upper high on top of us. Upper low sinking south of San Diego. Tomorrow, much like today. Highs mid-70s, partly sunny. No rain. Icing over Oklahoma, parts of Kansas and Missouri. Same thing Sunday. Mid-70s likely. It's a pretty nasty icy look there for Kansas and Missouri. But again, we're warm and dry. Go to Monday. The feature in the southwestern states lifts out. The surface low is near Tulsa. Maybe some strong storms over Arkansas down toward the Arklatex. But again, for Monday, maybe a few scattered showers. But I think much of the day will be dry. And again, low to mid-70s. Tuesday, the surface low is over Michigan. The trailing front enters northwest Alabama. There could be a few showers on Tuesday. But with not without much dynamic support in the upper ridge around, rain amounts probably light. And look at this. All of a sudden, Wednesday, the model goes totally dry. Where a couple of days ago, we had a big thunderstorm day. Now, nothing. Uh, and again, I think we're going to hang on to a chance of showers Wednesday. More than likely, a stall front will be nearby. But obviously, if it rains at all, it's not going to be much of a big deal. Highs go back in the 60s. And this is Thursday. A new wave begins to form west of the state. A surface low is east of Denver. Maybe some rain creeping in here. And this is a week from today, Friday the 20th. Very strong troughing to the west, and that looks pretty wet and maybe stormy. This is the surface-based Cape Friday of next week. And again, the air looks fairly unstable. So at some point toward the end of next week, we'll be watching for strong storm potential. Way too early to know if severe weather is going to be a problem. We'll check the end of the forecast period, Monday the 23rd, deep trough west of the state and a big surface low just to the north. So it looks like the end of next week and that following weekend could be pretty unsettled. Check the numbers coming off the GFS ensemble, very mild for the next 10 days. And again, evidence toward the end of the month, it starts to cool down. In fact, this is coming off the European ensemble centered on the 27th of January, uh, and again, this is suggesting we could get into some pretty cold air at the end of this month. 
uh, in a couple of weeks. So just something to watch. Winter is far from over. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. My next video here will be Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders. We'll have the updates here tomorrow and Sunday. If you can't catch us this evening on television or on the live stream, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless.